This video is on using area model to solve three digit by two digit multiplication problems. These are the same steps as I used for our two by one, three by one, and two by two multiplication problems. So the first step is to make a box. So I'm gonna make a box. The second step is to write the numbers in expanded form. So I'm gonna write this number in expanded form. So that three is really 300. The value of that two is really 20. And the value of that four is really four ones. So 324 is, 300 plus 20 plus four is 324 written in expanded form. Now I'm gonna write this number in expanded form. That four, the value of that four is really 40. And the value of that six is really six ones. So I know 40 plus six is 46. The third step is to draw lines from the plus symbol. So I'm gonna draw a line here, draw a line here. And I also have to draw a line here. So now I have six boxes, so I'm gonna find six partial products. The next, it says multiply to find each area of each box. So I'm gonna do that. So this is 40 times 300. So I'm gonna write 40 times 300. And I put the parentheses to show a grouping. Now I'm gonna, I need to know the length of this side, which is 40. So I'm gonna write 40 here. And I know need to know the length of this side here, which is 20. Next box. I know need to know the length of this side here, which is 40. And I need to know the length of this side, which is four. Next box. So actually, if you look at this, what I've done is I've distributed the 40 to 300, to 20, and to four. <coughs> so down here, I need to know the length of this side, which is six, and the length of this side, which is 300. I need to know the length of this side here, which is six, and the length of this middle box line, which is 20. And then I need to find the length of this side here, which is six, and the length of this side here, which is four. So now I've found four expressions, I mean two, I found every expression for my six boxes. Now I need to find out the partial products of each box. So this right here is 12, and there's three zeros. One, two, three, comma. So that's the partial, that's one partial product. Here, four times two is eight, two zeros, the second partial product. Four times four is 16, plus one zero, there's the third partial product. Six times three is 18, two zeros, comma, the fourth partial product. 16, six times two, excuse me, is 12 times zero. That's your almost your last partial product, and here's your last one, 24. So I've got six partial products. Partial products are like subtotals, then you add them all up to get the total product. So now I want to do step five, which is to add up all the partial products to find the total product. So I have 12,000, so I write 12,000. Then I'm gonna write 1,800, 800, 120, 160, and 24. Now it said I needed to add those up, so I'm just gonna add all those up. So I get four, 10, uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, four and one, so I got 14,904. So these are the partial products here. I've got one partial product, and then I'm just gonna abbreviate two, three, four, five, six partial products, and then I have my total product here. So remember partial products are just like subtotals of multiplication. 
So if I have six boxes, I have six partial products. I hope that helps. Thanks. Bye.